Hi, everybody. This is the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. I'm Nancy Newman with Frank Isola. What a tough, tough day it was on Sunday for the Nets. They lose to Miami 109-107 at the buzzer. Yeah, 8-0 run for Miami to win it with Bam out of bye with a big shot. Think about the way this game started with for the Nets. They lose Kevin Durant to a thigh injury. He only plays four minutes. Landry Shamit has a career day, but at the end, the Nets just didn't score in the final 3.30 of this game. That game was there for them. Bam Adebayo won it for the Miami and Heat. And that following a 13 run by the Nets to yep. take the lead. Following the action, Steve Nash said the Nets will have to wait and see how Durant feels going forward. Kyrie Irving scored 20 points, although he did miss three field goals within the final minute and a half of action. He mentioned the misses after the game when Michael Grady started Kyrie's media session by asking him to assess the problems Brooklyn had collectively down the stretch. You know, I felt like we were in the right positions. Um, you know, let them get comfortable most of the game. So they were playing, they were playing well, uh, hitting a lot of shots. Um, you know, so you got to give credit, like I always say. But, you know, there were some, definitely some preventable plays out there that I feel like um, we just could have been better, including myself down the stretch when they came to double. Um, felt like I, I could definitely could have made those last three shots. Just definitely trying to create some separation towards the end of the game. Um, but if just didn't come up with it. Um, and then, you know, they capitalized on it. So they definitely took advantage of the spots where, um, you know, we, we either took long shots or uh, we missed a shot and they pushed in transition and got some, got some easy looks. I know from a team standpoint, you guys professional is next man up. But on a personal level, you know, when your teammate and friend Kevin has to deal with another, another injury, um, you know, how much do you feel from him on, on a personal level? It's just, it's just, Timing of everything this season, this year, just been the telltale sign of what life is right now in terms of just the uncertainty of a lot going on. Um, anything could happen, any moment, so we don't want to take any anything for granted. Um, but anytime one of our teammates goes down, anytime something like that happens, it's definitely going to take a hit for us. Um, and it's just gotten back. So we just pray that uh, it's not too serious and he's able to recover. Um, but it, it definitely has a hit on our continuity at times. Um, but we don't want to make any excuses for each other. We're all professionals, you know, guys that are getting uh, minutes right now. Um, you know, it, it, we need them. So it, it's going it, to it's going to turn eventually. But we just got to kind of find that that uh, continuity, that connectivity um, from the start of the game. Stay with Yes's social media feeds and YesNetwork.com for updates on Kevin Durant. Our website also has channel and provider information about Yes2, which along with the Yes app is where you can watch coverage of Tuesday's game between the Nets and the Pelicans starting at 7 o'clock. For Frank Isola and our entire team, I'm Nancy Newman. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus.